My day typically starts with a little bit of um, advanced planning. And what I mean with that is usually a day or two before I'm gonna go out and visit a site, I'll look at things like what's the weather like so I can prepare accordingly. And then I'll also research a little bit about what, what I need to look at when I'm on site. Am I looking for a particular species? Am I just out there to look at the habitat in general? So I can kind of prepare for that. And then the day that I do go out in the field, I make sure that I have all my basic equipment that I take with me, binoculars, a camera of course, um, a notebook, and also field guides because never know what I'm going to see out in the field and I want to be prepared. The main thing that I really love is how everything, every day out in the field is different. You never know what you're going to see. It's exciting because when you're looking at wildlife, you know, sometimes you'll see a lot of the same things, sometimes you'll see something new that you've not seen before. So it's always that little bit of excitement at that prospect of seeing something different. And I also like the balance of both field work and also getting to work in the office and, and write about what I saw out in the field and getting to tell a story. What drew me to working with Wildlife Heritage Foundation was the opportunity to work for a local nonprofit that focuses on conserving um, natural resources. And was really excited about working for a group that had a local emphasis and is really connected to the community. In college, I studied environmental and systematic biology. My focus was on fisheries, and then later after I graduated, I went on to place a lot more emphasis on terrestrial wildlife. There really is no hard part about being a wildlife heritage biologist. There are small challenges, um, depending on the site that I visit, and sometimes it's a little bit more difficult to get the information that I need, but it's all um, an exciting part of the job. The best part of it is doing something that I've loved all my life and being outdoors and, and studying natural resources. The advice that I give to someone who's interested in being a biologist, especially a younger person, is to follow your passion. Because if you're excited about something and you stick with it, you can find a job doing what you love. There are so many opportunities to volunteer out in the natural resources field with nonprofit groups and other conservation groups. It's a great way to get involved in the field that you're interested in.